I'm going to talk about proturns and I'm going to do three videos. I'm doing this first video as a source video. So I'm just going to dump a lot of images and data of where I found my information or where my information has been compiled from in order for you if you ever want to go back and look or fact check or even learn more. So this is everything I got and everything I know of. Um, there are a few books referenced, so if you can't get those books, I'm sorry. But um, I have most of them, so it's one of those things that's like... And also, I have a lot of the papers I reference, but I think two of them are like open source. You can grab them. So um, I'm going to be talking about Protura or this animal. That's called a conehead or a telson tail, which I've already kind of had a rant. I don't even know what take this is, but I don't know anybody who's called a telson tail, so I'm just exclusively gonna call them coneheads. Wow, brain. Um, so first paper. That is a comprehensive guide of history of Hexapoda. I love it. And I love it because a lot of the data that is talked about within insect phylogeny is over a century, okay? From Linnaeus to Von Brandt Frechenstein to some guy named Johanna to Ochi, who I've referenced before in a movie or video short. I don't know. So there's a lot of data and some of it's in like really old studies or annuals that were published. And if so, it's just a nice way to condense it. Like that paper condenses it in a way that you can go back and say, OK, who put this where? And this paper was really important because Protera actually used to be in several different orders or classes and um, they kind of ripped it apart a couple times but I couldn't find a reference of where it was ripped apart like it's happened sometimes between the 1970s and 2000s but he actually referenced who did it in that paper so that was kind of nice because it was like oh oh I know where it came from now thank you um so that's a good paper the next one is one of the papers on Protera by that guy that guy is the Protera expert in academia um he's written multiple papers so Searching his name in Protura, you will find tons of things. So many things. So many things. So that's the guy you want to look for when you type into your searches. That guy, Protura, you got it. He's just the fact guy. Okay, and the second paper is going to get brought up when I talk about phylogenics and who... Protura is closely related to um, and that is literally published this year on the 8th like I don't even think that paper has fully been peer-reviewed or it was peer-reviewed but like it hasn't been digested in the larger entomology group uh, entomology community they're actually still arguing about wings and gills right now because of the Christmas study so I don't think they've caught on to this one. I accidentally stumbled on it just because I was putting my notes in my iPad. So that's like fresh off the presses. And again, no one's really dug into it yet. So I, I think that's one of those times where it's like, ooh, this is really good information. Like really good information. Okay, so those are the studies I'm going to reference. Now I'm going to reference some websites and books. Okay. So for 
websites, you want to go to the University of Florida's um, Entomology and Nematodes. They have a whole Protero page. Um, North Carolina State University, State University also has a whole hexapod phylogenic thing, so they have a Proterra page. Um, Science Direct, you just have to type in Proterra and you are going to get a ton of them. So um, you want to look at uh, Koch's study, but I'll reference that in a minute. Um, then Tree of Life has a page and a Bug Guide has a page. I rely less on those because I prefer... I'm biased and I like the two university sites, but I also have all the studies, so I don't need to go to those too much. The only good thing is a bug guide actually is the only place that referenced molting in a condensed way. So that was kind of neat. Um, and then there's a blog. I'm going to put this blog picture up here. Okay. That blog site is super amazing and that person is awesome because they actually have a video of a behavior that I'm going to reference in these videos that is not referenced often and they have a video of it. So that is super cool um, and I think you should watch it. So go to that blog, find Prototura and watch the video of the Telson pumping because that's freaking awesome. All right, now to the books. <laughs> okay, you want to look up Gig, Gib, and Osepe, Se Oseto from 2020. You want to look up Koch 2009. I believe that is an insect, um, like, collection guide or something like that. So Gibbs and Koch are actual books. Um, and both are referencing entomology and insect orders. Uh, Guliani and Creston, 2000, also are one of the books you want to read. And then there are two older papers. Ross from 1982 and Wooten from 1984. Those papers, if you want to look at, like, read some of the more referenced once or twice behaviors or things, those are the papers you want to find it. So I went over, we went over some of the original classifiers. I haven't even touched any of the good stuff, but that's all my sources. Go to those. I'm now going to dump into the heavy stuff. So while I'm talking, I'm going to be referencing this. If you don't wa watch or read or do anything with this information that I'm giving you, that's where I got it. So there are definitely going to be points where I'm going to talk about Dew and Tika, Tika Helikai study. You won't know what I'm talking Well, you might if I like say it right, but God knows how, which take I'm going to do and I might not reference it fully. So that's your data. Here's your bibliography reference video.